Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing some awesome footage of this Campanardus colony moving into their new nest, like this one here, so stay tuned. I made this nest with a lot of love, so it's almost perfect. I spent a lot of time planning, studying designs and testing materials, and came up with this. It's probably the best one that I made so far. The reason why it needs to be so good is because I'll donate it to a biology teacher so he can show the kids in the school how awesome the ants can be and maybe get some of them into the hobby. Here I just placed their tubes into their nest out world. As you can see their tubes were in really bad conditions. You should never let a colony into a tube that bad as I did. The water color is very dark and the tube even flooded when I was moving it to the outward. There is no ants in the form carrying yet, so I'll come back later. Finally started moving out of their tube, that's very cool. I'll speed the video up a bit so you can see all the movement happening. There, there is a worker carrying a pupae. Now that one decides to move in, don't take long until the other ones start doing the same. Hey look, there's the queen, wandering around. Again, stay tuned, there's more awesome footage ahead. I'll come back soon. Looks like they are done with the brood, but the queen still needs to move in, so let's keep watching the process, but from a new angle. I think the workers go to the queen and then to the nest, leaving a pheromone trail, but the queen does not want to follow it. Wait, look at that, the work is pulling the queen almost by force into the nest. The work is holding her by its mandible. The queen is the most important member of the colony, and the workers know that for sure. In the nature, it wouldn't be safe for her to stay there, so their natural instinct tells them that they need to make the queen move quickly into the nest. I placed this small bottom of a plastic cup with honey, sugar and water, and before I could set up my camera, 
all these girls were already drinking. And look at that, her gasters, or social stomachs, are filling up with the mixture. It's very satisfying for me to watch it. They go to the nest, leaving a pheromone trail indicating that they found food, and soon more workers will come to drink it. Using their social stomachs, they can feed the queen and the workers that are taking care of the brood inside. That way, only some of the workers need to come out outside of the nest. Here you can see the ants inside the nest. We successfully moved the colony. I'll end this video here, so thanks for watching. And thanks for the 100 subs. There will be another video coming soon, so we can celebrate it together. Stay tuned.